Hey guys, it's Rosie or Top at Bricks here with another video. Today's video is going to be going over the 2022 LEGO Harry Potter wave which I want to see. I'm going to keep some realism here by providing you set suggestions and ideas at all different price points, ranging from cheap to expensive. I'm going to keep the number of sets in this wave at a realistic amount, that amount being 7. I'm also going to assume that LEGO is going to see a continuation of the older 2018-2020 to Harry Potter sets next year, after the 20th anniversary is over. This would mean that we would be getting more Hearthwood Prince and Deathly Hollows focus sets, so that's what this wave is going to be based off. I have also taken into account what LEGO said about a potential Gringotts set coming soon, which is that it's not. So we won't be having a Gringotts Diagonally expansion set in this list either, even though I'd love for them to make it. Some of the set ideas in this list I have made mocks for, some I have found mocks from other people in the LEGO community, but I'll leave all their info and links to said mocks in the description below. So starting off at the cheap end we have a £20 or $25 set, this being the Cave Island. This is a mock that I made that includes 185 pieces and would include 4 minifigures. This set is based off of the Half Blood Prince where we saw Harry and Dumbledore investigate the cave where Voldemort hit part of his soul. In this cave we saw a great black lake with an island in the middle. The island is made up of sharp and jagged crystal and this is what this set is meant to be based on. In the middle of the island there is a basin where the locket is kept at the bottom of some poisonous dark water. Around the island is the Black Lake where we have Imperia and Therius which would make up two of the four minifigures in this set, with the other two being Harry and Dumbledore. The two sided faces for these figures would articulate Harry in horror and Dumbledore in extreme pain and misery. Also one of Dumbledore's hands would be dark bluish grey to represent the curse which has infected him. Other things that I would include in a set would be a little boat piece to get to and from the island as well as a specifically moulded cup piece to drink the water out of in the basin as well as a specifically moulded locket piece to represent the horcrux. I think this is a set that many people would pick up due to the amount of trans clear pieces we get as well as the opportunity to pick up some new and awesome unique minifigures. The next set in our wave would ideally retail for around £40 or $50 and that's going to be a pop-up book called The Tale of the Three Brothers. So this would be a set that would bear some resemblance to the Lego Ideas pop-up book back in 2018. That set came with five minifigures but this set would just come with three, those three being the three brothers. The concept for the pop-up book build when the book opens is the bridge over the treacherous river and also the great big figure of death. This would be probably made out of Technic parts, with a big black cloak piece used to hide all of those components. The set would also include the Invisibility Cloak, as seen in the LEGO Harry Potter series 1 of the CMF series, as well as a unique moulded Elder One piece of one brother, as well as a unique moulded Resurrection Stone piece for the other. This would of course be a pure display set, but my goodness would it look fantastic on your bedside cabinet or your work desk. I would just love if LEGO went ahead and made a set like this. The next set in this wave would have a retail price of £60 or $70, this set being the Gringotts Vault. I know I said I wouldn't have a Gringotts set in this video, and I'm staying true to that. This set wouldn't include any part of the building, but simply just a vault, just like how they're giving us part of that in this year's advent calendar. So this set would be based off of the Deathly Hollows Part 2, where Ron, Harry, Hermione and Griphook attempt to break into Gringotts to find a Horcrux. So as you may have guessed, the vault included in this set is vault number 711, and it's the vault of Bellatrix Lestrange. This would be quite a beefy and large build, and would consist of just a vault itself, with all four walls and a detachable roof for easy access inside. Inside would house a ton of gold coins, gold bars, gems, and of course, Helga Hufflepuff's cup. To represent this cup, I would use the Lego trophy piece used in the 2018 Quidditch set, and just have the letter H, printed on the front. Other cool accessories this set could come with is maybe a small minecart build that we compose on the outside in front of the door, that would be cool. I think this set would be highly attractive not just for the build we get due to the number of treasure pieces, but for the minifigures too. Those minifigures would be Hermione as Bellatrix Lestrange, Ron disguised as Dragon Major Spard, Harry and Griphook with the invisibility cloak, and finally I would include Bogrod with a double sided face, one being all dreamy when he's under the influence of the Imperious curse, and finally I would include one of those Gringotts wizard guards in blue. So a lot of unique and interesting figures would be included in this set, 
along with a really interesting build. It would be fantastic if LEGO gave us a set like this in 2022. The next set in this wave would have a retail price of £80 or $90, and that's Dumbledore's Office. I have always wanted a properly sized Dumbledore's Office redone ever since the one we got back in 2002, and I believe that the next wave of LEGO Harry Potter sets is the perfect time to do a remake. This is because the next wave of LEGO Harry Potter sets are probably going to be focused on the Deathly Hallows and the Halfwood Prince, and in the Halfwood Prince, Dumbledore's office is such a key and integral part of the film, as we are there a lot of the time observing Tom Riddle's memories. The main attraction of this set would of course be the build. It would be big and grand and would house all sorts of interesting things, such as forks, the sorting hat, the sword of Gryffindor, the pensive, many books and potions and even all the past Hogwarts headmasters on the wall. The minifigures for the set would include a unique version of Dumbledore based off of the sick film where he has his hand all cursed. It would also include Harry Potter, McGonagall in black robes like she wears in the later films and also Snape with a Doe Patronus piece so you can reenact the always scene. Next up is another big playset which also acts as an expansion to the 2018 to 2020 Hogwarts sets and that's the Hogwarts Viaduct Courtyard. This set would be obviously based off of the Deathly Hallows and would act as a Battle of Hogwarts set. I generally think that LEGO will make this set due to its sheer, undeniable relevance to the films. My version would have a retail price of £100 or $120 and would come with 9 minifigures, those being Neville with the Sword of Gryffindor, McGonagall with black robes, Percy Weasley in his suit, Kingsley Shacklebolt with dirty robes and no hat, Narcissa Malfoy with the jewel modded hair just like what she had in the 2011 Forbidden Forest set, Joko Malfoy in his black suit, Lucius Malfoy but all roughed up and with a beard and everything, Bellatrix was strange but this time with her leg printing like she had in the 2010 Burroughs set, and finally Lord Voldemort with of course Nagini. So this set obviously includes a lot of desirable figures and even some which I mentioned in my last video, Lego Harry Potter figures that need making. If you haven't watched that, then make sure to check it out in the description below. But back to this set, the build itself will be on a square base plate and would include destructible walls on the outside with a similar mechanism to how you destroy the walls of the Battle of Takodana set, which was released for the Lego Star Wars theme in 2016. I would also have one or two buildable giants there to help add to the scene of battle and really give it that Battle of Hogwarts vibe. This set would be able to slot in front of the Lego Great Hall set of 2018 once you remove the small 2x6 brown path piece. A part of the base plate would just connect to the underneath of those rock pieces you can see there at the front of this set, and thus making this viaduct courtyard act as a fantastic expansion to your 2018-2020 Hogwarts castle. Next up on our list is going to be Godric's Hollow. This set would ideally retail for around £150 or $180. The build for this set would be part of the village and would include buildings such as Batilda Bagshot's house, the church of the graveyard and James and Lily Potter's house. So this set I would ensure would be a two scenes in one type thing. For example, I would make it so the roof for Lily and James's house would be able to be lifted off so you can either display their house in a perfectly fine condition, just like how it was before Lord Voldemort came, or you can take the roof off the house and display it all open and damaged just like in the Deathly Hollows film. So yes, this is a Deathly Hollow set with the ability to reenact that scene which Hagrid describes to Harry in the Philosopher's Stone. The minifigures that will come with this set would be Harry and Hermione with the Invisibility Cloak, Batilda Bagshot, Nagini, two drunk muggles which are described leaving a pub singing Christmas songs in the book, then along with those figures would be Lily and James Potter, Harry as a baby, which you could place in a crib, and also a hooded cloaked version of Lord Voldemort. I think this set would be an easy fan favourite for any Lego Harry Potter fan, and we could even combine some of our snowy Hogsmeade buildings to this scene to make it more fuller as a complete village. And finally, for the last set on our list, we have a big one here, based off of the Deathly Hallows, and that's the Ministry of Magic. This set would ideally retail for around £250 or $300 and would come with a ton of minifigures so I included this set on a mock video I did covering a bunch of LEGO Harry Potter mocks that I put together. I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. But yeah, in that video I suggested that this set should retail for £800 or $1000 and would come with 29 minifigures, those being Cornelius Fudge, Dolores Umbridge, 
Kingsley Shacklebolt, Dawlish, Barty Crouch Senior, Scrimger, Pius Vickness, Runcorn, Albert, Mafalda Hopkirk, Percy Weasley, Mr Weasley, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, Luna Lovegood, Neville Longbottom, Ginny Weasley, Albus Dumbledore, Voldemort, Bellatrix Lestrange, Lucius Malfoy, Augustus Rookwood, Yaxley, Antonin Dollarhoff, Sirius Black, Remus Lupin, Tonks, Mad-Eye Moody and two Vestrals. I also drew a floor plan to demonstrate the layout of this set as shown on screen now, however, when I made this mock the intention was to make a full on Ministry of Magic direct to consumer set, but for this 2022 wave, I appreciate that it needs to be based off of either the Harper print or the Deathly Hallows, and it also needs to be something LEGO would actually make, as I want it to be a realistic wave, and a thousand dollar Ministry of Magic set just isn't realistic at all, so I've cut it down so we just get the Ministry Atrium, as shown on the box art that I made here. This would include a few fireplaces, some offices, and a fountain of magical brethren. This is where Harry, Ron and Hermione run away from the Ministry in the Deathly Hallows Part 1. The figures that I would include in this set would be Harry disguised as Albert Runcorn, Ron disguised as Red Catamull, Hermione disguised as Mafada Hopkirk, then Umbridge, Scrimger, Pius Vickness, Yaxley, four random wizards acting as ministry workers, then I'd throw in Dumbledore and Voldemort so you could reenact the great duel between them both, which was also hosted here in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I think this set would be on every LEGO Harry Potter fan's wishlist if it came to be because of both the unique minifigures and just the build itself, so fingers crossed that in 2022 LEGO go ahead and give us at least one of these sets which I've brought up as potential ideas in this video. And that about wraps up my 2022 LEGO Harry Potter wave, so thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed that video and would like to see more like it, Make sure to like the video down below and also subscribe to see some more LEGO Harry Potter content. I've been Rosie or Topper Bricks, see you next time.